Oh, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Turfentine. We're on the Standside track Saturday, the 18th of December, and we have a nine race program and a pretty interesting program, too. Um, uh, Pentrometer's 23, which means the course will be in magnificent shape. 25, um, 2.5 false rail, sorry, not 225, 2.5 false rail at the 700 meter mark, and we kick off with race one. Remember, it's a very early start, um, which is a good thing, and there's 20, a half an hour between the first two races, which I think is really a step in the right direction, and um, then they go back to 35 minutes, but I think we're going to get this right eventually. And um, let's kick off with the first race, which is made and played fillies and mares. Uh, 1160, which is a 1200 meters, hot favorite, baby don't hurt me, and does look like the right horse. You've got to ignore his last start, but the start before, two out of six winners out of that form line. So a really strong form line, and I think that baby don't hurt me is going to be very hard to beat. So let's look at the first time. A time is ticking seems to be the only one that there's money for from the mowing stable. That's number 14. But there are a number of horses that have got chances to overturn, baby don't hurt me. Rio Supremo, third run after arrest, absolutely perfectly cherry ripe and will go well. Picara, uh, Jason Gates jumps back on this. He rode it when it ran second the time before last. The no shoes does worry me. <coughs> Excuse me. Time silhouette, poor matches, run a third run after arrest. And uh, Love Bite gets the blinkers, number two. So interesting first first race, but the exotic start in the second race with a bipod, and um, there's a merit rated handicap. They go 1400 meters, and I'm really interested in Kuma. I think this is the right horse. He's six to one. This horse He's got a big big chance in a race like this. Gets the blinkers, third run after a rest. Looks like an improver. Um, the favourites. Well, there's money for everything. Ed, Prince of Fire is your hot favourite, 12 to 10. Danielson's not riding it at the time of me doing this. I don't know who is riding it. That's number two. Got very good form, this horse. He's had four starts, three wins, and a third. Last run was very good. Uh, so he is useful, Prince of Fire. But he comes up against a couple of real runners here, and he's got to go the extra, the 1,400. Spice Market. Have a close look at this one, 16 to 1 shot. Two from four course and distance. Pace and gets Caden Brewer. So probably end up going to the front and they might not be able to reel it in. Evalos, Prince, Motar, Magic both got chances. Race three, well, here's a maiden plate and uh, they go 11.60 with a scratching a quick run. You've got to look at Lemmy Go. Uh, ran on first, very good first run. Um, Mathis is the first timer that's been back from the Paul Peter stable. The comment was positive. Uh, which gives you an idea that it can run. Mom Mercy uh, didn't run a bad race first time out. That's number 12, gets to run on, and this uh, will suit it. And then Blackburn Jet, not a bad first run either. Big price, but drawn one's not going to be in its favor. Race four, first leg of the pick six. And as I said to you, the pools are down and down and down. We've got to support the tote. We've got to put money through the tote. We've got to make sure that the bets go on the tote and not straight into the bookmaker's pockets. So support people that bet on the tote. Race four, uh, merit rate at 88, and we're looking for a decent pick six pool. It's 1,200 meters, 11.60. I like the look of grappler uh, from the Sean Terry yard, and I think Sean Terry and Paul Peter hold the key on the day. Should go very well. Siva Vesant gets Calvin Habib. Good win last time. Got a big chance of following up. The interesting horse is Gallic Chief. He's moved to his new surroundings with Paul Matchett. If this horse is right, he will go very close. And Super Agra, very fast, one from one course and distance. So they look like they're the ones that would fight it out. Race five, merit rated handicap, and they go 2,400 meters. Top weight, the cop. Does he stay the 2,400? We'll see. I think he might be better over 2,000, 1,800 or 2,000. But this race will tell whether he gets the 2,400 meters. White Fang, the blinkers are not on this horse. Make a note of that. Muzieni rides it for the Azzy team. And that's a big plus because he's a front runner. And Muzieni is very good on front runners. Blackthorn, one from one course and distance. Gets Gavin Larina and is your favorite. That's number three, a fraud. Don't ignore this horse, always there or thereabouts, he's 20 to 1. 
And Ray's Hallelujah won extremely well last time uh, with Matsuyama gets a, a jockey again and should go well here. Race 6, Pinnacle, Malmoose and War of Athena. What a race and wonderful to see them both step out. It should be a super, super contest. War of Athena is your favorite. Two from two course and distance. Malmoose, third run. Uh, Lorena has been um, sidelined and they put Warren Kennedy on the horse. It will be interesting to see how he goes. But the blinkers are on him. I think he'll go very, very well, Malmoose. Uh, Johnny Hero. I'm not sure that this isn't on the sharp side for him, but his last two runs were very good after he came back from a rest and certainly improved, and he looks like the natural danger to the other two. Race 7. Uh, this is Secretariat Stakes. It's a listed 1,400-meter race. Well, <clears throat> one of my real favorite horses is in this race. I like litigation. I think he's a really nice horse. I do think the 7 furlongs 1,400 is on the short side for him. Uh, so what else is there? Now look yourself. A course and distance, three runs, one win, two seconds, two places. Excellent, excellent form for the poor match it inmate. Gets a bit of weight from the top weights. Bureau Le, Le Lejean, um, 1400, I think, is on the sharp side, but it is a two to one favourite. Fisher King, one from two course and distance, looks like a runner, but I'm not sure that this is as good as uh, litigation. And Bon Vivant, no one knows who's riding him at this stage, and it's 8.30 on. Uh, Saturday morning. Race six, Pinnacle. They go 1600 meters. Uh, sorry, race six. I've done race six already. Race eight. Um, this is a, a merit rated handicap and they go 1400 meters. Funky Music got a carry lump of big weight, 62 kilos, but he's very consistent, always there or thereabouts. So also, that interests me is Indus Knight. Uh, won a very good race from the front last time, but it looked like they had. It was given everything his own way because the time is extremely slow. Um, it didn't run a good time at all, and now we'll see if he's up to this type of class. But River Jordan, jockey strike. Gavin Larina jumps on after Sester and Solomons has been riding this horse. Looks like the right race. Absolutely cherry ripe course and distance one from two. Race nine, there's a merit rated handicap 72, and they go 1160 meters. I like number six, Blue Eyes from the Paul Peters stable, um, gets a four kilogram claimer. It's not the favorite of Paul Peters. Paul Peters' favorite is number seven, West Coast Lover, which has got good form in Warren Kennedy. But Blue Eyes gets Caden Brewer, gets a four kilogram claim. Uh, two, one, one, course and distance, third run, everything cherry ripe for this horse to step up. Have a close look at Into the Future, another um, Gavin Larina strike, he's aboard this one and this is the best trip for this horse, absolutely perfect for him. Enjoy the view from the same stable, come down in the merit rating, I'll give him another day. The McQuackers, I think he likes the inside track, that's where I think he's most effective and um, obviously he's got some form. And Procrastinator is your uh, joint favourite, Paul Matchett, Muzieni, definitely got some sort of chance. All in all, interesting days racing and should be a very good day's racing. I'm hoping to get out to the track, if possible. I will look forward to seeing you all there. From me, James Goodman, and the Interbet crew, have a great day's racing. Remember, you can bet in, in um, running on all types of sports. England going well in the ashes. That should be quite fun to see how that ends up with a South African holding England together and a South African holding Australia together. Just shows you. Have a great day.